Our daily Bible reading for April 14th. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, beginning in verse 22. And he said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat, nor about your body, what you will put on. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? If then you are not able to do as small a thing as that, why are you anxious about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass, which is alive in the field today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you? O you of little faith, and do not seek what you are to eat and what you are to drink, nor be worried For all the nations of the world seek after these things, and your Father knows that they need them. Instead, seek his kingdom, and all these things will be added to you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to the needy. Provide for yourselves with money bags that do not grow old, with treasures in the heavens that do not fail, where no thief approaches nor moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Stay dressed for action, and keep your lamps burning, and be like men who are waiting for their master to come home from the wedding feast, so that they may open the door to him at once when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. Truly, I say to you, he will dress himself for service, and have them recline at table, and he will come and serve them. If he comes in the second watch, or in a third, and finds them awake, blessed are those servants. But know this, that if the master of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have left his house to be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for all? And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise manager whom his master will set over his house and give them their portion of food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly, I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. Have you ever found yourself at work not engaged in your job or a little too long on coffee break or lunch? Even doing personal business on the clock, that feeling when you get, when your supervisor discovers that you are not doing the work assigned. Sort of a pit at the bottom of your stomach feeling, isn't it? To be ready in doing your job is what we are called to do as Christians, to be alert. There's hardly a more disappointing feeling than when we are unprepared to do a task. We might have left tools behind. We may not be dressed properly for the task. We may be mentally unprepared. It is worth noting that this passage follows verses that speak of treasures and their effect on us. Verses 33 and 34 says, Sell your possessions and give to the charity. Make yourselves money belts which do not wear out, an unfailing treasure in heaven where no thief comes nor moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. It is perhaps an emphasis on what will distract us and thus render us unready for the master's return. Where is our treasure? That will determine what will occupy occupy our minds. In this passage, Jesus urges his disciples to divest themselves of worldly possessions that will encumber their work and secure that which will not wear out. How many have become entangled once again in the affairs of the world having once been enlightened by the gospel? Peter tells the woeful state of those who return to the world again. We find this in 2 Peter 2, 21 and 22. For it would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than having known it to turn away from the holy commandment delivered to them. It has happened to them according to the true proverb, a dog returns to its own vomit and a sow, after washing, returns to wallowing in the mire. 
Those truly intent on doing the Master's will find themselves girded and ready for service, no matter the time. They need not worry of being caught unaware. The question of the day. Are there treasures of the earth that will draw you away from service in the kingdom? And a thought to meditate on this day. Being ready involves sacrifice and commitment. Not easy decisions in a day and age with so much to choose from. And those are our thoughts for April 14th.